that, we have some breaking inputs, in fact, coming in. We are now learning that Prime Minister Modi has landed in Warsaw, the Polish capital. Those are the latest visuals that we are bringing to you of Prime Minister Modi from Warsaw. Remember, he's embarked on a two-nation tour to Poland and Ukraine. Uh, do expect him to be meeting Prime Minister Donald Tusk and President uh, Andres Duda of Poland. And uh, as we all know, the West is very keenly looking out for, in fact, watching this entire two-nation tour that the Prime Minister has embarked on. Uh, and soon after his arrival, we were informing you earlier as well, there is an Indian diaspora event that's taking place where Prime Minister will very much be in attendance. And it is after several decades after Indira Gandhi and uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, it was in fact Prime Minister Murarji Desai, who back in the year 1979 had visited the Polish uh, capital Warsaw. Now, remember, India and Poland have been allies from Cold War period. Both of them, in fact, were known to have a friendly relationship uh, with the Soviet Union. And now, uh, Prime Minister is perhaps expected to play on that camaraderie that India and Poland have shared, uh, also to perhaps usher in peace as far as the Russia-Ukraine war is concerned. Let's quickly go across to Siddhant Mishra, who's joining us live. Uh, Siddhant, what is the mood like over there? Now, Prime Minister's uh, visuals coming in. He, in fact, uh, getting a grand welcome as he arrives in the Polish capital of Warsaw. What can we expect now? Well, that's right. Uh, so, Prime Minister has uh, landed in Warsaw and in fact, uh, we are at this hotel in Warsaw where Indian community is eagerly waiting to meet Prime Minister Modi. In fact, behind me you can see uh, that, you know, uh, people from the Indian diaspora have come here in large numbers uh, to meet uh, Prime Minister Modi, to welcome him. So this is uh, uh, this is the first uh, 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 this is the first engagement of Prime Minister Modi after landing in Warsaw, and after which he will be going uh, to pay tribute uh, to uh, to uh, to Good Maharaja Square. Uh, he would also uh, go to the memorial of Monte Cassino and uh, and also uh, the memorial uh, of Kolhapur. So that is what PM Modi's plan is uh, today in Warsaw, after which he is going to hold full-fledged community event for Indian diaspora in Warsaw. This particular visit of Prime Minister is very, very significant as this is the first visit taking place in last 45 years. So last Indian Prime Minister to visit Poland was Murarji Desai and now uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is coming to uh, Warsaw. Perhaps he has already arrived and in some time from now he will come uh, to this venue where he will meet uh, people from the Indian diaspora. Right. Because of the security protocols, we cannot go to that side and speak to the Indian diaspora. Because of the uh, security protocols, we have been uh, allocated this place to, uh, to report from. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of excitement here. Uh, uh, right. Indian community has been eagerly waiting for this day. And, uh, and, and you know, we could expect uh, more uh, uh, engagement of Indian community sure. with Prime Minister. Siddharth, uh, it's uh, very heartwarming uh, uh, to see the Indian community, which has, in fact, thronged the entire venue in full force, as we can see. Heartwarming visuals of all of them give us a sense of the kind of contribution that the Indian diaspora is making to the Polish community and how excited they are to meet the Indian Prime Minister. Well, look, uh, uh, Poland is, is, is the fifth largest economy in Europe. And uh, for the longest time, Akanksha, the focus of India was on the, on the countries from the Western Europe. But this is perhaps a new start. Uh, and it looks like that the Indian foreign policy makers have, have finally uh, are now focusing on Eastern uh, and Central uh, Europe. Now, Poland is a country which has got a lot of potential. And in fact, uh, uh, you know, there are, uh, there are uh, approximately 200 odd uh, Indian companies, those who have invested uh, in Poland. Uh, if you talk about big companies from India, then Infosys have office in Wuch. And there are other big players uh, from the Indian markets. They have invested here. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, we could expect uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, to hold bilateral talks with President and Prime Minister of uh, uh, Poland. Uh, so there could be, the focus would be on uh, to increase the connectivity between the two countries because the demand of Poland is to start uh, uh, more flight between the two countries. Then right. Poland needs healthcare workers, right. doctors and paramedics. So that 
could also come up uh, 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 during the bilateral talks and also uh, collaboration in the pharma sector. Now behind me, Akanksha, if you could... Right, uh, it would be uh, lovely, Siddharth, you know, if you Ajay could Shilam bring in some plans. of those yeah. Indians over there and give us a sense of how, what is the excitement yeah. level. I can hear chants of Har Har Modi and uh, that is the kind of uh, fanfare that Prime Minister Modi commands every time he visits uh, uh, a country. In fact, the uh, stat statue of uh, Poland, we've seen that say, a similar kind of fanfare in the United States. We've seen that kind of warmth come in from the Indian diaspora in Egypt and not to forget Russia. And we've seen those visits that have taken place in July. So perhaps uh, we all know what the West is expecting out of this visit, especially when it comes to Prime Minister visiting Ukraine. But uh, he's also expected to use his good offices with Russia to perhaps uh, end that war in Ukraine. And Poland has played a very crucial role. While Siddhan tries to get us a sense of what's happening over there and what is the excitement level like within the Indian diaspora who are in fact waiting with bated breath to welcome Prime Minister Modi who's just arrived in the Polish capital of Warsaw. Uh, we will be bringing you all those views and opinions of everyone who's gathered. What is it that they are expecting from Prime Minister? Prime Minister, remember, is one of the tallest leaders uh, across the world and that is perhaps what explains that kind of fan following that he commands in the entire world. But having said that let's also give you a sense of what the historic ties between India and Poland look like. We go uh, to the Cold War era days. At the same time, the Indian Maharajas have been patrons of Polish art. Several palaces in Rajasthan, in fact, uh, have uh, also had paintings made by Polish artists and that is the soft power that Poland commands in India. But we will keep bringing you all those latest inputs coming in from Poland as Prime Minister very much arrives in Warsaw. Those visuals speaking a thousand words for themselves. And with that, it's a quick wrap from my end. Thank you so much for watching Nation at 5. Up next is Plain Speak with Shivani Gupta.